Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here back through daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about the entire crypto market. So sit back, relax, and before we fully jump on into this video, I do just want to ask guys could please leave a like on this video. It does help the channel grow immensely. And of course, I always do greatly appreciate that. Now, realistically speaking, I'm going to put a spotlight on Bitcoin because right now, I do think that there's going to be a massive value shift within this market to Bitcoin. Uh, we are going to be addressing that. Uh, we are going to be addressing a lot of things as well in terms of factors that are going to lead the bull run. And I'm going to be talking to you guys about why it is essential to watch a few factors as we do kind of march on into this month. So uh, with that in mind, we are seeing, you know, some diminished volume and value flowing over altcoins. Uh, a few of them are still up, you know, 12, 14 percent. Um, but ultimately, you know, we're not seeing, you know, 100 plus gains on the 24 hour span, similar to what we've been seeing for like the last week or so. Um, things are kind of diminishing in the altcoin market, which this is expected because Bitcoin dominance is rising and while Bitcoin is kind of trading sideways a little bit. Now, we are going to be talking about that massive momentum shift and we're going to be addressing why it's happening. But before we fully jump on in, I just want to ask if you guys are interested into, you know, getting exit plans and stuff like that, because I do know a lot of individuals have been asking me, hey, you know, what do you think is a safe exit point for this asset? What do you think is a safe exit point for that? Honestly, it is all up to you. But if you guys do want to get my trading indicators, my exit plans and stuff like that, I do post a lot of that on ncashofficial.com. A lot of this is really in depth and I really talk to you guys about my plans on a lot of things, you know, from not only, you know, swing trading strategies to exit plans and stuff like that. You guys can learn a lot from this if you guys want this. Um, it is on ncashofficial.com. The best deal for your buck is the Ultimate Crusader Trading Bundle Pack, which does include everything um, as well as all future content for free. So it's totally up to you guys if you want to get this. Again, links are down in the description below and in the comments below and cash official.com. But with that being said, let's talk about a few things. So let's talk about the market indices. So I've been watching the S&P 500, the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones for the last couple, you know, months, for, realistically speaking. But I really started to spotlight these once we did see the Russia, you know, Ukraine conflicts starting to begin, because of course, you know, Fear does spread very fast within finance. Um, everyone was kind of a little bit fearful. I'll, you know, well, that's why we did see those major impulses throughout the entire market. Um, but realistically speaking, things are bouncing back. I told you guys that, you know, whenever we do see some sort of crazy news, you know, uh, around things like that, even like the March of 2020 drop, right? That's the best time to buy when everyone is so fearful. You know, you never want to buy when everyone is making a ton of money, where everyone's so happy and, you know, greedy, whatever. Now that's what the best time to sell, right? So ultimately speaking, these are back into the buy zones. Um, I do believe that these are going to trade sideways a little bit more before they do uh, eventually break out. Um, of course, this is going to lead the race within the idea on watching the dollar, watching the 10-year yield. Uh, I have been watching the dollar. So as you guys do see, um, I currently moved um this you know trend line up here to this resistance point originally it was on the 702 uh the reason why it was on the 702 is just because that's where the main resistance actually is um but wicks above are totally expected they're you know not you know unlogical either like when we're talking about you know the resistance here like you could argue that the resistance was 99.38 where we did wick up to um but realistically speaking it's you know having that strong break over the 702 is what really matters um ultimately i do think that we will see a major shift in the market we could trade a little bit sideways like you know realistically speaking when we're talking about this we could have you know up down up down up down before we have that nice drop in price similar to what we've seen during the march of 2020 dropping point so um i could actually compare and contrast a little bit so you know here we are now sort of just trading sideways in this momentum shift um check out the march of 2020 you know shift right so we had this nice downward trend uh followed by this nice uptick in terms of value for the dollar now of course during this time crypto was crashing everyone was a little bit fearful they didn't know what was going to happen next they didn't you know really think that investing was the smart choice um but realistically speaking this came down sort of traded sideways which i think we are doing right now um which will lead to a massive downward trend followed by a multi-year sort of bear market if you will for you know the dollar now this is the best time to really kind of analyze this and watch this because if we do have a strong impulse on this it is going to send you know the market to you know a nice sort of uptrend you know push similar to what we did see during 2020 into 2021 during this entire time you know this is you know ultimately speaking you know it, it's funny because during the bottoming of the dollar during this time here january 20 
2021 is when things really started to get you know crazy. But of course, during this entire time, Bitcoin was pumping and going to new all-time highs, and uh, the market looked extremely bullish. Now, as we are watching the dollar, um, I have been watching the 10-year yield. I've been telling you guys about this, um, but ultimately this tells you where a lot of money is flowing. I do believe that risk assets are still the main you know, focus point from retail standpoints. I think that this is really telling us that there is a lot of demand for you know, risk assets, more so like stocks and crypto. Uh, we've seen this during you know March of 2020. During this time, you know there was a major demand, uh, but it followed by a major crash while the dollar was continuing its momentum. But as you guys do see, the dollar sort of you know dropping here because you know this started around like the end of March where it really started to drop in price. And uh, here you guys have you know April sort of downtrending, but it ultimately picked back up. A lot of focus shifted to, of course, crypto and stocks, causing major you know bull runs to really happen. Now, ultimately, I have been watching the you know the RSI on the dollar right now. We're sort of still in a bearish point. I know we're breaking above the moving average on the RSI, um, but similar to what we've seen back in March, we'll ultimately see if this continues this downward trend where we are bouncing off the moving average and still going down in that downward trend similar to what we've even seen back in March of 2020 during this entire time back here where we did see wicks above but ultimately still trailed down now as we are talking about this let's talk about Bitcoin so first off we do see here uh, Bitcoin everything points in direction of an imminent pop to the upside the dollar topping miners holding long-term holders not selling short-term holders shaken off the train bullish divergence on a liquid supply um, and then of course strong accumulation Bitcoin in circulation falls etc honestly a lot of things have been getting very bullish within the you know major uh, economics of you know finance especially within the tenure yield the dollar the major indices all this is kind of leading us back to the idea on you know should we be focusing on Bitcoin and we 100% should be and you guys already know I don't hold any Bitcoin I am you know strictly in altcoins right now um, but this is because I am preparing for alt season uh, I have been watching the total two. you guys do see the total two weakening here at a little bit of a resistance point um, I have been kind of addressing this a little bit but you know our resistance point here is kind of taking me back to around like the September time frame where we did have this nice impulse down to this bottom fib at around like almost one trillion dollars uh, before we had that nice spike up in you know value to all the way to the highs of November so you know I am watching the total two to see if we do reject so, uh, so far we have been bouncing off that 10 day EMA uh, which is that yellow line as you guys do see down here um, which is pretty good as long as we kind of hold the fort that's totally fine with me um, have I been buying altcoins just yet no I did buy status I put a little bit money in on the side um, but I am watching Bitcoin closely here we actually see here for the first time in a while Bitcoin breached the 50 week mean and established last week's trading mostly above it it's somewhat promising sign of underlying momentum the seasonality of April is on the bull side is Bitcoin ready for the breakout and here we have this nice sort of sideways momentum waiting for that next major impulse above the all-time uh, um, all-time highs now as we are watching this right so um, I have been watching Bitcoin closely and I actually, you know, charted it the other day where we do see this sort of bounce off of this bottom support figure and we kind of continue onward and upward above 50K. This is going to take a little bit of time to get there. But realistically speaking, I have been watching the weekly chart more than the daily chart. And the weekly chart has sort of a diminished volume aspect to it. Of course, this is the new week. Uh, so we're going to watch the volume sort of, you know, trickle in here. Um, but realistically speaking, the weekly, you know, candle has bounced off of our, you know, support zone perfect at about 45.2K, uh, sort of trading against that 382 resistance. Once we do have a significant break above that, it's going to repeat this October time frame pump uh, where we did go to, you know, 69K, aka the all time high. So I'm really watching for a strong break above this 48.3K zone. Again, RSI on the weekly looks pretty strong, looks sort of sideways momentum here. Um, the structure of Bitcoin looks very bullish. I mean, we've been in, you know, higher lows since going back as far as January, where our low here was about almost 33K, followed by a secondary low of about 34 point almost 1K, you know, followed by some sideways momentum here at this other low at 37 point almost 8K. And then we had this nice low at about this fib level of about 41 point almost 5K. And now we just kind of trade 
trailed down and it made our next major, you know, higher low at about 44.2k. And realistically speaking, I do believe that the next major, you know, higher low will be around this fib level of about 46.6k. We'll probably have that strong breakout followed by a trail down to test that, you know, support zone. So, you know, something like this would actually be expected. You know, do we have to come down this low? No, we could actually have a strong, uh, you know, sort of, I would say, retest of that resistance point that we're kind of trying to break out right now above. Uh, but this is ultimately, you know, that retest of the 618 where we will eventually break out and retest the all-time high. Now, will we hit resistance at around the 786? Most likely, we've always have, um, and it will kind of just trade sideways until we do get that breakout event. Uh, so we'll probably just trade sideways here between the 786 and the 702. So we'll most likely have this nice little downward, you know, trend uh, almost start, but. You know, this is where a lot of individuals will say, all right, yeah, we're probably going to drop a little bit more, but ultimately we'll most likely test this all time high and go to those higher FIB levels of roughly that 120 to 160 K level. Now, all while we are, you know, talking about Bitcoin, obviously I am watching Bitcoin dominance. Like I told you guys, it looks like we are finding some, you know, major support and strength here, similar to what we did see back in October of 2021. So we are waiting for that nice breakout event. Um, and I do have a golden level here on the chart uh, where we will most likely have that breakout point into the 45 to 47 percentile range um, or percent range. Sorry for uh, Bitcoin dominance. Now, again, I'm just waiting to see if this is going to really pick up. RSI looks like a strong major impulse here has begun, uh, similar to what we did see back in the beginning of January, back to what we even seen back in September uh, before we did, you know, go to that new all time high on Bitcoin. So that is what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm watching to see happen. Um, ultimately, am I still watching all coins? 100 percent. It's not like I'm just kind of disregarding XRP, XLM, HBAR, QMT, and my other altcoin holdings. These four I mention a lot because these are my main ones that I really kind of address a lot on this channel. They are still trading below, uh, you know, resistance, but also above significant support, aka that 50-day EMA, as you guys do see here on the XRP chart. Still looks pretty bullish. I know that the RSI looks a little bit weak here because it is, you know, below the moving average, but we've been below the moving average since going back as far as like February, so it's not a big deal. Um, XLM, also very similar structure except this one's bouncing off the 10 day EMA so still looks pretty solid again you know you really got to address their Bitcoin price charts which is obviously going to look weak because Bitcoin is really kind of taking the wheel right now I would say that this is the calm before the storm on Bitcoin waiting for that ne next major breakout event on Bitcoin itself uh, before we do lead the race to alt season um, H bar very similar structure again bouncing off of the that uh, 50 day EMA Pretty good. Nothing too crazy there. Not too alarming at all. Again, a lot of this is just kind of centered around the Bitcoin price chart. This is what's kind of causing those influxes in price, uh, which again, you know, this is a little bit bearish for the USD chart. I will be completely transparent with you guys. So just pay, pay attention to altcoins in terms of their Bitcoin price charts. Like QNT is also another one bouncing off that 50 day EMA. Um, again, if we're talking about the Bitcoin price chart for this one, it looks pretty bearish, breaking below uh, significant support. Most likely we'll test a support zone down here at around like maybe 2,700 sats. So watch those specifically uh, when we are talking about, you know, the Bitcoin price chart compared to altcoins. Right now, Bitcoin is taking the wheel. Bitcoin has, you know, a lot of the strength in the market currently. Everyone's kind of centered around Bitcoin's next major breakout event because it could lead to the wave five. Um, but, you know, even Ethereum is finding some resistance here. Um, I'm kind of looking at the resistance point going back to September yet again, where we did have this nice downward trend, followed by, of course, that uptick to those highs in December, which led to, you know, Ethereum breaking out in December as well. So, you know, with that being said, just a ma major shift in the market. Watch Bitcoin closely here as we are waiting for that next major breakout event above in, you know, uh, resistance points. So, you know, really keep close, uh, you know, keep a close eye on that 46 point, almost 7K zone. Um, ultimately speaking, I do want to see us back above 48K. So 48 is the key target for Bitcoin um, right now. If you are in all coins, you know, don't be, you know, too concerned if they do drop a little bit in value. Um, it's totally expected, especially as Bitcoin kind of takes the wheel. But with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on if you guys want more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, up to you all. Have a beautiful day or beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.